I will never forget the time when Babella then fast us away. Fast forward to today. Eh, every day is in a holiday. Sing it. Every day is in a holiday. Oh, yeah, day. Oh, yeah, day. Day, day, day. Oh, eh. Hey. It's time for us to be joined by a special guest in the house. The man who will grace this very empty spot next to me. He is one of Nigeria's finest, one of Africa's best, one of the world's most renowned producers. He's not just a producer, he's a record producer, he's a music arranger, he's a music director, and he's a songwriter. And he's also credited for the dope soundtrack on the awesome Shanti Town. I'm talking about the one, the only, Jay Sims! Come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> My brother, it's been too long, man. I think the last time we linked, the last time we saw was, uh, was 2017, 2018? 2017. It's been a, it's been a long time. It's been long, you know. Yeah, that was before Case dropped. That was before everything. Yeah, and then <laughs> Case dropped, and like, you know. You know, I'm nowhere. We did not even see your review yeah. again. That's boom. That's the life, you know. I know, I love it. Um, thank you very much for <coughs> gracing us here yes. uh, with your presence and for joining us on the show. Nice too. There's so much to unpack, so much to talk about. Yeah. Um, one of the things I do want to ask you though is, as a producer in Nigeria, when you look at the music scene now. Yeah. What, what are the, like the first thoughts that come to your head when you look at like our music scene? Acceptance. Here? You know? mm. Acceptance is uh, at least we can see it everywhere. Yeah. You can see Afrobeat everywhere. Yeah. So there's there's an acceptance now. Acceptance. So I think uh, we have a long ride, so yeah. it's going to be for long. Yeah. Because it's not just about the beats, mm -hmm. the melodies, mm -hmm. you have the, the songwriting too. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is top notch, so the, the acceptance is there already. So yeah. we, are here, we are here for a long ride. We're here, we're here for a long haul, fam. <laughs> Jay Six is in the house. Yes. I'm super gassed up for this. At what point did you decide, okay, I don't just, because I found that a lot of record producers stay mm -hmm. on that. They just want to be a record producer. Yes. But at what point did you decide, you know what, I need to expand my horizon? Okay, actually, I, I was a music director. And also a music arranger before being before a producer. Before being a record producer. Yeah, oh, so, that's you know, so back then when you finish arranging like songs and yeah. people ask you, do you produce? You'd be like, no. Oh, so no. you now realize that okay, if I can make this arrangement, mm -hmm. what's what the other ah, one is? Ah, okay, I you see. Know, so is, it was sort of based on necessity. Yeah, like people are saying, what do you yeah, produce? So they keep asking me. Yeah. I'm like, so if I can do this one, that means I can do Might the other well. one. So well, do you remember the first time you attempted to produce or something? Yeah, of course. What you know. You know, back then in church, you you have um, keyboards that mm -hmm. you can play with. Yeah. You know, from there, you can try them. You know, discette. Yeah. So wow. We, yeah, so we use You've been doing this for a long time, so then. We use discette. discette. So we use discette and make those records on the yeah on the piano. Yeah. So from the, you know, those those are the those are the little little growth. Yeah. You know, we started having in the church, and yeah. so getting to the computer mm -hmm. it was. It wasn't really that hard. Mm. So there's YouTube for you. Yeah, yeah. Typically glance. Yeah. And, and just come back the, to yeah. so the University of YouTube also. As a producer, do you feed off the energy of the artist or are you just the kind of guy that you create like your own world and whatever you give off, they have to just work with No, that. both both energy has to match. Okay. But sometimes, you know, some of them, when you get in the studio, you also have to be your energy has to be more than that. Oh, than, than okay. Artist because Sometimes they don't, they might probably not have the energy to yeah. work with you at that moment, but yeah. when you give them that, that sort of energy, that, yeah. they come alive. Do you, I, and I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you like have a favorite artist, like maybe one person that you just love their energy every time you guys are working together? Mm, for now, I don't think I have. One person? No, I don't think the I have. The people? Because I have a lot of them. Okay. Both the, both the young ones, both the upcoming. Yeah. yeah. Jason, mm. now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's go. Shanty Town. Yeah. You produced the whole soundtrack for Shanti, the whole project, the whole, I guess we'll call it an EP, a soundtrack yeah, EP. Yeah, soundtrack, uh, soundtrack I know you featured Hot Kid on there. Yeah, I, I think Kid, Jay I have, Tiz, I have Jay Teaser. Yeah, Jay Teaser. And I have um, the guy on the first Toby track. K. Yeah, Toby K. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So talk to me about just the process of first getting to the point where you were, you know, told you have to create this for us. And then we're not talking about the creation of the soundtrack itself. Yeah, so I pitched for it. Okay. So I heard the movie was coming, mm -hmm. and uh, I pitched for it, and it's said, okay, try and give us something yeah. that will fit the movie. They didn't know. I didn't know. They I'm didn't like, know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you want something. <laughs> they have no issues. So yeah. I sent the first soundtrack. They were yeah. like, oh, this is cool. Give us another one. Uh-huh. I sent the second one. Another oh, one. Give us a... So when I sent the final one, they said, this is what we, we're looking for. So, so they literally just took like all of it? Yeah, that's, that's Oh, that's so happened. sick! So, obviously, I, 
I did what I, I, I had yeah, to do. Yeah. And I won the pitch. Yeah. So that's it. I'm sure other people did too. Who cares? You won the pitch. <laughs> but I love it. No misses, man. No misses. Right. You know, like that's how you know that you're good at the craft. When you send something as a pitch and they're like, wait, this one's sweet. Keep, bring out another one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> bring out another one. So that's what happened. So how did you now decide who you wanted to work with? Like the artist you wanted to work with when you were now creating um yeah, when yeah. you're creating the, the soundtrack, obviously. Yeah. While I was in the studio, I had to be K in the studio. Oh, with you? Yeah, so oh. he came around, I'm like, he was like, Jay, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to create a soundtrack for you. He said, okay, hey. what's the title of the movie? I told him, and, mm. and he wrote it right there. God, allow me to be at the right place <laughs> at the right time. So he wrote it right there, so. Yeah. And obviously, I've, I've been working with Hot Kid, mm -hmm. so I called him in. And uh, I have, yo, come, I have to so. I also saw deal. Would you like to be part of it? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you want to be part of it, and that's how we had those soundtracks made. And Jet is as my my my, it's my boy, yeah, so I called him. Yeah. You have I'm to doing be, this. Yeah, you you have to be, be on it. Yeah. So we did it. Together. Okay, I mean, I, I love that actually. I really do. Shasta J. Shasta J. I love it. Okay. Yeah.